Good morning, guys. It is my last day here in San Diego. I'm still here for the AAD, but I'm headed out this afternoon. So I'm gonna head on over to the airport shortly, just packing up here at Margaritaville. It's been a good stay here. If you're curious about this hotel, it's in the gas lamp area, which is a noisier area, but there are a lot of restaurants around. And of course the convention center where the conference is at is like two steps away. So it's really conveniently located for the reasons I'm here, but the hotel overall is fun. It's a great place if you have children. It's just, they have a lot of brightly colored decor. The pool looks really nice, although it's been too cold to go in the pool. They also give you two complimentary bottles of water in the room each day, which is nice. There is a Keurig, which I don't care for, in the room. There's a coffee shop downstairs. There's also a restaurant and bar. And the staff's pretty friendly, and the room has been very comfortable. So no complaints there. And I would, I would stay here again. It's a little expensive, if I do say so myself, but it could just be the area. Anyway, so I am... 78% packed up. I'm gonna head out and get some coffee, maybe something to eat. Skincare wise, I just have the Woe Glow on my face again. Just about finished with that tube as a sunscreen. And then I have makeup on over it. I'm wearing this pink little sweatshirt and I'm wearing jeans. <laughs> I'm here at this cute little egg themed restaurant called Eggies and they have a vegan breakfast sandwich that I ordered. I have a big egg on the top. I decided to come sit outside with my coffee. Look at the little sleeve. It's got a little face. How cute is that? Um, pretty good. All right, let's see what she looks like. Like we got a pretzel bun, pickle, and some sort of patty, and a plant-based hollandaise sauce, and I think that's just egg. Pretty excited to have a pretzel bun. I used to get these at this restaurant, chain restaurant, that went out of business called Bennigan's. But it was like actually shaped like a pretzel, but anyway, it looks pretty good. Uh, one last look at the festive artwork here in the lobby. I'm waiting for my Uber to take me to the airport. Th one thing I didn't mention this morning, but I talked about in last weekend's vlog, if you stay here, you also get complimentary bike rental. You know, you can borrow a bike and ride that around. Yep, oh, looks like my Uber is just about here. Well, the plant-based breakfast sandwich this morning was really good. Actually much better than the one from the gas lamp breakfast company, which also was really good. This one I preferred the bun and the patty was much better, but that one at the gas lamp breakfast place, the sauce was much better. It was like a smoky tomatoey sauce. It was really good. I had a good time, but I am glad to be headed home. Let's look at the Hard Rock Hotel. <laughs> All right, I just made it through security here in San Diego. And I have some time to kill. Brought an empty water bottle, which is always an essential for air travel. Ooh, San Diego t-shirt. Now, I have a library book, so I'm not allowed to buy <laughs> any books. I shouldn't say I'm not allowed, but I always get incredibly tempted to purchase books in airports. I mean, I get tempted to spend money in airports. I'm not a, like easily, I'm not easily tempted to spend money, except when I'm in an airport, I turn into a totally different person. This is such a good book. Has anyone read this? It looks in entertaining. These look like good beach reads. Well, I was gonna go over to the other gates, but they don't connect 
so otherwise I'd have to go through security again. <laughs> so I'm here at my gate. I'm just gonna stand here because they have this little countertop with charging point ports. So I'll keep myself occupied. Boarding the plane. Party on here. I made it back and these are new in the baggage claim. These, what are those, basketballs? Soccer. <laughs> Just goes to show I'm not, I'm not a sportsman. We have the rodeo soccer ball or football. Well, I'm all unpacked. I'm one of those people. No matter what time I get in from a trip, it doesn't matter if it's like 2 a.m. I'm unpacking everything. I oftentimes will do laundry, but I did not have the bandwidth to fire up the laundry tonight. Just got out of the shower. You know, a lot of people say when they are away how they miss their bed. I honestly never miss my bed. Like I could sleep in any bed anywhere. As long as they're not shards of glass poking me in the mattress, I, I, I mean, I'm not, I, I, I don't know the difference. However, my shower, and it's not even the shower itself or anything of that sort. It's just, you know, having your stuff in the shower that's yours. It's, I, that's what I miss the most. Coming in tonight, I have neglected my feet in the past few days, uh, just, you know, plain moisturizer. Cause like I said, I went real low maintenance skincare wise, but I'm gonna come in with the prequel Foot Rescue Advanced Restorative Treatment that I bought. Reviews should be up at this point. This is a urea foot cream, similar to Carousel, which I normally use. Let me know if you've tried this. Do you get a little bit of separation? Because in the beginning I wasn't getting that, but now that I have made my way through quite quite a bit more of it, I am getting noticing more separation. I use about that much to the balls of my feet. Let's do a little yoga here to get the foot ointment in. Look at that, you guys. <laughs> I also like being home and not having to worry about hunting down food. I don't eat out much at all normally, except when I'm traveling. And it's always that like, what am I gonna eat for dinner? <laughs> Which is fun, but it adds up really quickly. I almost cracked into that little Vaseline pot that I got at the trade show, but I held off because I knew I had this waiting for me. Um, not to say I couldn't have opened that. Vaseline has a shelf life of like an eternity because it's waterless. 
I looked out. The flight was pretty full. Somehow I managed to get one of those golden seating arrangements where there's somebody in the window and you're in the aisle and there's nobody in between you. That is, that is like a match made in heaven. It's, it's like your, your airplane soulmate when that works out because you both know that you have struggled and you're sitting there thinking, how has this happened? And you don't wanna jinx it. You don't want to get too comfortable until the plane takes off because you have expect like the plane door is going to be going down and some passenger is going to slide under the door and be like, wait, and come crashing in, take your, take that middle seat. But when you have that middle seat open, it just, it makes the ride so much more comfortable because you can kind of, you know, if you want to get something out of your bag, you can set it there. Normally on an airplane, you try and get something out from your bag. You've got to do this whole action, right? Because you don't want to, especially if you're on the aisle, you don't want to disturb the person next to you with your elbow. Um, but then as soon as you, you try and do this and get out on the aisle, the flight attendant's going to have to come by or somebody's going to come by and whack you. And that is not fun for either party. So it's hard to get stuff out. You know, like if, if I want to get my camera out to film like my water or something to show you guys. I know, scintillating footage. Um, it's, you know, it can be challenging because I don't want to sit the whole plane ride with you guys in my lap like a baby. <laughs> I need to get like a little, like a little, I don't know. Maybe I should just get an extra seat for you guys um, and all the apparatus. Or like my laptop, right? I'll do a bunch of work on my laptop until it gets to a point where the battery is like, please give me a break, please give me a break. And I'm kind of burnt out and I'll want to switch over to my iPad. Yes, I am that, that person. I bring a laptop and an iPad to, to keep myself entertained and a book. So I might want to switch to that. So I got to fold the laptop down, you know, get it in its little, sl it, it's, it's, I'm telling you, I don't understand why there is not some, I know you can rent a private jet and that's like a gazillion, gazillion dollars, but I, I feel like we need something in between commercial airlines as they are now and getting like a private, chartering a private jet. We need somewhere in between where it's obviously gonna be a more expensive ticket, but you are guaranteed fewer people on the plane. So meaning faster boarding times and you have a lot more space around you. When you're going from coast to coast, especially, I feel like they need some, some, something in between, like I said, a private jet and commercial airlines as they are, especially for people who go back and forth between coasts, because it adds up. It's a lot of, ugh, ugh. It's the kind of thing where you're thinking to yourself, oh, no way would I pay extra for that, like, no way, but if they have those little deals from time to time, you know, buy one ticket, get the other one half off for you and a friend, get a little taste of it, and they've got you, they've got you. I feel like, and there could even be something else added to the experience where somehow it was a more ex expedited, also it could have, I don't understand why I refuse to give TSA any money, so I don't do that fast pass thing to bypass TSA because I just refuse. So yeah, I know I'm a dinosaur and I'm like the one who would hold everybody up because I know most people who travel quite a bit get that. I refuse. I just refuse because I feel like I feel like it's a racket and just I, I don't want to participate. I don't want to give them money because it's going to incentivize them to continue doing more and more stuff like this. Now I've heard through the grapevine, I can't remember where I saw this, maybe it was an article I read. They're gonna start having, and this seems like, I don't even know what they're thinking. Self checkout version of going through TSA. Like you do your own body scanning, your own pat down. Like, are we serious? I mean, yeah, you take your shoes off, you put them in the bin. I don't know if it's gonna, they're gonna, there's gonna be some robot yelling at you, cause I, how is that even gonna be legit? Makes no sense to me. But the whole take your shoes off, spin around, pat down thing, that's never made any sense to me. 
Anyway, all that griping about TSA aside, if you are a flight attendant, I greatly appreciate you, especially if you're a Southwest flight attendant, they're the best. <laughs> In my opinion, they're always so friendly and upbeat and like, eh, whatevs, you know? I really appreciate the people who operate, you know, the system out there. I know it's not your fault that the planes are like, <laughs> anyways, you guys, I hope you enjoyed these travel vlogs. I had a great time sharing them with you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.